Okay, welcome to another Gwent video. Today we will attempt to play some ranked games and climb with an Imlarith deck. We have, um, outside of Imlarith himself, of course, we have Gales, part of the silver package. Um, Gales, of course, lets us not only pull Imlarith from the deck, but actually lets us. Um, actually move another card um, up so we can actually draw it in the, in the later round. Uh, Renew of course gets us Imlareth essentially in round 3, the Resurrect, and then World of Decree lets us again pull Imlareth from the deck and as the additional bonus of actually boosting by 2, which makes the Imlareth that hits the board um, a 7 instead of a 5, which makes it a more viable unit against higher uh, higher value bronzes or silvers, especially in the Novgard faction. Uh, we obviously have Frightener because in this meta you can really get away without running a spy. And actually, it's not really a meta, it's the spies themselves have become an integral part of the standard set. Everyone essentially plays spies, whichever faction, whichever leader you, you play, you necessarily have to play a spy because card advantage is so important in Gwent. A card that gives you card advantage is now essentially a must-have, um, at least the way they structured the standard set since this is what, before the game is actually released and before expansions come out, this is, this, what we have is the standard set. These cards make up the standard set. Um, Mark Floyd, uh, because you can unlock your Imlareth, uh, Operator gives you a second Drakkar, Albaya uh, is a unit, is a mage obviously, and, and has the clear skies, is able to spawn clear skies, so it of course lets you, um, it defends against weather, which uh, in this meta there has been quite a lot. Uh, obviously this is something you can tech out if if you don't really see weather. A monster's Nest and Mandrake. Um, again, Mandrake very useful because it actually straightens Imlareth, so it makes him stronger, so it makes makes his stats bigger, right? With um, it makes a spur a permanent stat change, which obviously can be then once Imlareth returns with the renew, uh, you can take advantage of the stat change. Monster's Nest uh, because it lets well, it allows for plays like, um, let's see, let's look at it actually. It uh, allows you to have a Barbagazi, which obviously gives you a carryover, and uh, even lets you spawn a Ghoul, which is a is like a bronze version of Azrael. It doesn't let you eat out of your opponent's graveyard like Azrael, but it does let you eat from your own graveyard, so in 1-3 it's a big point swing. It's never going to be as big as a huge Necker. It's never going to be big as Siri Nova. It might not be as big as, but it might be comparable and even bigger than something like um, a um, Crusader, right? Uh, a Skellige Crusader, especially since it still gets the boost from the Monster's Nest, which unfortunately is nerfed to one. Uh, the bronzes are pretty standard. Two Wild Hunt Riders. Two warriors, three Drakars, uh, three hounds, two navigators for pulling out those units out of the deck, and the binding frost obviously to go along with the wild hunts. It, this deck doesn't runs Drakars, so one of the win conditions is obviously outside of Imlareth is yeah, the ability to pull up to five Drakars, right? One from Eridan himself, that's why the stick runs El Eridan's leader, and then um, one from Operator, uh, which we can copy. Unfortunately, this Operator play uh, shows your hand a little bit, right, because obviously your opponent gets another Drakkar, even though the Drakkar is essentially just a seven straight bronze, it doesn't really do much for them, but then it lets them know, oh, this person is going for a high Drakkar play. 
It doesn't have Iris, and it doesn't run Siri Nova. So we'll see how it does. Obviously, um, one can sort of tech out and tech in specific things um, as the meta changes, right? That's the you know, each any deck that becomes sort of type, right? Can always be tweaked with according to the meta, uh, especially if the meta is can't find a worthy opponent. Uh, can't really tech for that much. Yeah. Suppose this is late on a Sunday in the Americas region. And no, North America. I get it's not Americas. I'm using the Blizzard. Uh, I'm using the Blizzard, Blizzard regional search. Yeah. It's North America, the grand. Alright, we still have our barrel from uh, watching the Gwent Open. If you guys haven't seen the Gwent Open, I would recommend watching it because it is, um, well, for one, it features decks from the last meta, uh, or from really the last season, and then, um, so you can sort of see how those decks play, and yeah, it's it's really high, high ranked, high skilled players, which, uh, which is a nice thing to always observe, right? I mean, on top of watching streams and videos by other people, these uh, these kind of tournaments are nice because, or these the streams of tournaments are nice because they let you see play at a high level and tournament tournament plays, which are you know very much unlike ladder plays, where you construct a deck um, really to take advantage as much advantage as can from the way the packages work together, right, and the way the meta works. So, uh, tournament play is different, especially since you can, can't can uh, use different factions, so, let's see. Uh, so yeah, I encourage you all to check that out. Yeah, we have Gals, which is good. Uh, we renew, which is really nice. We don't have a Drakkar though, so... Yeah, that's worse. Mm, yeah. Let's go. Okay, Blacklist. It's going to Blacklist. There's double that's it's fine. Oh, yeah, it's just... So, we're playing Standard Swordsman. And the ways... Look at my... Uh, yeah, so we have a standard swordsman play. So next thing that's gonna come out is a ship, I'm sure. Oh, okay. That's not great. Uh huh. Well, throwing frost into it is really not a great strategy because obviously it fixes itself. Uh, so we will go for the Emler play. We get Royal Decree, which is. Great, and then we get our Frightener, so we're gonna be able to solve it. We're gonna pull our Imlareth, which is going to be a 7. And it might destroy the. It will destroy the. the Swordsman. Obviously, this deck, I'm sure, rely, sure relies on actually returning these. In round three, okay, he's gonna drive past because of that. Um, yeah, that's fine. He wants to get him back in round three. We have renew in hand, so we're not really worried about it. We could drive past round two. Um, or we could bleed him, which is essentially what I kind of want to do. Okay, this is why um, this is the dreaded mulligan bug of Gwent, where um, the first or second card that you actually mulligan might return, unfortunately, in the later rounds. So yeah, so since we're beginning, since he went first, um, and we went second, we go first in this round, and of course we can, we could dry pass here, uh, we're 12 and 12. Um, we could spy and force him to spy to see if he has a spy. I don't know if that's actually a great play, but... It's, um, might actually... Operator as an opener? 
Of course, we make um, make a car. Give him a car as well. We're one card down, which is never great. Gwent. Uh, I gotta go past and let him play a card, which is always like a decent strategy. Okay, so he had another swordsman. We gotta lock his swordsman, because I doubt he has a mechanism for unlocking. I like Morphoid because he also um, halves the power of an enemy. Hmm. Uh, you can lock him. You can also put down a rider. It's a graveyard here. Actually, you want to see the deck. Right, so now he has a ship. Obviously, it damages this, and this heals, and then strengthens itself. Right, that's the way the swordsmen work. Oh, okay. I guess people were right about the you better being disconnect. Disconnect. Yeah. I encourage visiting went right up. Um right, so we're gonna definitely pull this guy with us. Um oh, we, of course Mulligan Bug strikes because we got fighting cross. Unfortunately, because we mulliganed it too early, probably. Because if we think about mulligan, the way mulligan seems to work in Gwent is that you want to you want to really mulligan these kind of cards last, because then they won't. Um, they're less likely to come back like this. Okay, he spawn on our ship. At least 25 points ahead. It's a lot. Uh, can't waste this rider though. Kind of three, so you know, the well on render damage it increases the damage of binding first by one. And since it's the only unit on the board, did I scare huh? you? Ah, oh, he's running Sarah. So we switched the gold, probably. So it came from the right. You see, they fixed the thing where, uh, where it. It might still be doing this where gold units stay on the right side. And I've noticed that uh, powers or event cards or cards that spells, for lack of a better, or I mean, Gwent, they're usually called special or spell cards, yeah. Uh, they go on the left side. So if the opponent is playing this, it's likely gold. Uh, so he uh, swept a card, probably a gold. Hmm. Unless he got a spy out, which could be very possible. Mm. I believe I'm gonna mark with this. Uh, 
this was a three, I could kill it and boost the scene. Reconnaissance into what? We'll greet a bubble, but fire and iron. Yeah. Fortunately, this guy is drawing. We could, of course. Now frost him. Though I'm not really sure if it's worth frosting him. There is no escape. I'm not sure if that was actually the right move because he can revive this now. If he has priestess as a Freya. Now, how did that incantation go? Oh no, he's actually gonna go on the offensive. Which is interesting. So these he is running some weather then. He might be running Burna Barn. Hmm. Hmm? Yep, the meta is connections, I suppose. Oh well, it's not great. Start another battle. Yeah, so against swordsman, this deck is okay, especially if you can remove the swordsman of Amalareth. Not all battles need end in bloodshed. Oh, wow, a reveal. This might be an interesting matchup, especially since it uses units that actually damage. This might not be a great. Yeah, so we mulligan this and probably one will return since we mulliganed the first one. We actually want to mulligan... The way mulliganing what we think works at least, according to the way we think it works, you... one should always mulligan... Um... <laughs> actually not a bad hand. One should always mulligan things like frost last, things that you never want to come back, unless you... Use you want to it's like a foglet and you're running death wish and in a death wish deck You're usually running one foglet. So if you don't mind if you're gonna use that in the first round Yeah, uh, actually that dry pass here Could actually dry pass But I'm not sure if I want to do that Let's we'll see what he. I wonder if it's Viper Witchers. But might not. No reveal deck. Yeah. So if you have a single foglet that you're gonna bring out of the deck in the first round, it's fine to mulligan the foglet first. But if you have things like a lot of frost, and obviously if you have a lot of frost that goes out of the deck. And that's that would be unfortunate because some of those will, of course, be earlier in the sequence of mulliganing from one to three. But you want to keep things like frost. You want to mulligan things such as frost last, last, because that way they have less. There's a less chance of it actually returning in your. Um, draws in the second and third rounds. So we're gonna try to get, of course, get away with standard bear because it's annoying. He's probably gonna dry pass here, or pass rather. No animation. I don't know, he, he didn't. All right, because I'm pressing the thing. All right, of course. Yeah, so this uh, boosts an ally by two whenever our soldiers play. So it's a soldier review deck. 
Interesting. So you revealed a Gals. Now we got a Gals. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. Scale, this is an interesting proposition. Let's go use the farm to left. Uh huh. There's a six armor. So a, a good um so the way duel works, it the dual dual unit that begins, um, the dueling unit, it strikes another unit with its power, and then if that unit survives, it would in this case because it's an eleven, this is an eight, the other unit takes the power, uh, its actual power, so not its starting strength, but uh, the strength its current power so so its strength reduced by the amount of attack and then attacks by that and they do it back and forth until one dies um, what should I do? I should play gals naivety is a fool's blessing great operator and then amazingly that's gonna go and then we're gonna copy your car and hence we have set up our round three. Mm, okay, essentially pass here. Yeah, so a good rule of oh, he passed right. A good rule of thumb really is to for the strength of the dueling unit, in this case Imlareth, but there are of course others, uh, to be at least sixty percent of the unit that 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 card is attacking. That is important. 60% is generally good in real time. Now, 60% of the actual strength rather than it, the overall strength including the armor. That does factor into it, but you should really keep, uh, you should really calculate based on the strength. That way that 60% uh, um, rule of thumb Actually works. Um, so we could we could Barbagazi. Do I want? He's ahead, so I don't really want to do that. Um, hmm, let's see. Missing name. Nice. <laughs> what is missing name? Well, let's show it. Nope. This is very in interesting. Let's see. This um, tracker made by Overwolf is kind of cool because. Um, let's see. Oh wow! I have three cars. Heavy. So I have all of my dragars in my in my life. Yeah. So this, as I was saying, this is a this tracker is kind of neat because if you go to the tracker and click the card, it will show you it will show you this preview. And the card is animated here, which, even though the card you have is not animated, because clearly, uh, clearly mine, the one that actually came out of my collection, is not. So that's kind of a cool little, um, that's really cool. I, I don't know how they did that, they must have somehow pulled out the algorithm that makes it, uh, should I drive pass? I'm gonna drive pass. Uh, pulled out the algorithm. Somehow they pulled out the algorithm that. Uh, well, that's a good play. Obviously. Because that's not really a loss to him. But yeah, so it pulls the algorithm and it makes use of the algorithm that shows you the uh, animated cards. Which obviously is in the game, right? But it's not active if you don't have um, a card in your collection. Or if you didn't spend dust on it. Uh, what did I just get? An Abaya. Huh. I'm actually alright with that. So essentially we have two of our... Um, we have our two of our web conditions in the deck. Um, unfortunately Imlareth might be in danger here because 
a reveal deck generally runs machines, and those machines can damage. Uh, outside of the duel, obviously, so they can reduce the strength of the unit and thereby kill it. Um, yeah, this is the ally piece. This seems like a soldier deck. Soldier and reveal combo hybrid? Um, well, we'll pull that in Larith. And of course, it doesn't have the armor that it used to have, but uh, it, of course, it keeps the strength because we had uh, we used <coughs> that great, um, that great and wonderful Mandrake on it, which has seen so much play in these maps. Um, hmm. <laughs> I well, I'm not sure actually. I could reduce him. Um, so. But I feel like this is a misplay because I should keep it for the ladder. And of course, since we have three Drakkar, well, we have to pull another Drakkar, we could pull another Wildhound Hunt from the, from the Aridin. I'm really glad Aridin is back. Right, so this. He damages it by. Kilter's power, so now it's equal, unfortunately. I uh, really don't have any boosts. Uh, this isn't really. It's, I'm not running any potions to make him learn stronger. Just the Mandrake, so if that doesn't work, then it's whatever. I'm gonna dump this. And watch out for Scorch. Haven't seen a lot of. Or Igni, rather. I haven't seen a lot of Igni, but it could be out there. We have, of course, the navigator, so we can pull another, uh, another hound. So you already, yeah, we have one more hound. That's cool. I like this card, Cynthia. It reveals the highest unit in your opponent's deck, and then it steals its power uh, as a boost. Which is pretty cool. Um, still, don't really care about we know the mysteries of time and space, all of them. Here, if it's an alchemy deck, obviously you wanna you wanna not stack um, all three rows. You wanna do that over really igni. Oh, right. Uh, you wanna do that over uh, over stacking a single row because a lot of igni. Is not really in this. M I haven't seen a lot of Igni in this meta, but um, obviously, if you see Igni, then that's another thing to watch out for. So that's why Arena is so wild because um, of that. It's funny that it's running White Frost. I might have another White Frost, and I'm using it now. And it's nice that um, it didn't used to do this, actually, but now Clear Skies. Oh, wow. He has a gold. That's an interesting deck. Huh. Well, I guess I kind of misplayed there. Um, I didn't think he would have it, but he does. Interesting. Well, I guess I'm gonna frost. No wait. That's that was our last. Yeah, we don't have. We have a car. Hmm. I guess we're gonna have to just stack harder cars. It's a weird combination. A it uses, no it's a spy hybrid. I feel like you should concede. I feel like he's using this. But whatever. So the row limit for Gwent now is 9. Alright, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have two more. Alright, so it is running machines actually. Huh? Keep stacking our row. 
or Imlareth, of course, is a Wild Hunt officer. Right, is the Wild Hunt the officer tag? So it My keeps man, growing man. when the Drakars drop. So it's another way to boost the Imlareth. Yeah, no, no, there's a forfeit. Yeah, that's a weird deck. And I think I lucked out because I had the the Imlareth essentially acted as a control um, because it took out the things that he those uh, units that boosted when allies appeared and s whether soldiers or not and those of course were acting as engines so you couldn't if you have if I didn't have a response to that you might have really boosted those and, and, and actually won because he would have those viable engines but they but um, I deny that engine play. And this is what the meta has been for the last couple of seasons, I think. Uh, essentially... Yeah, essentially, the <clears throat> there's a prevalence of engines. Uh, Axemen, Greatswords are an example of that, right? Uh, these are all engines. Neckers, that's an engine, right? I mean, the Drakars, also an engine. Uh, Imlareth and so Oh, someone got the arena border. Oh wow, Gales, wow, Gales, Spy, and... Huh. Ooh. Whoa. Okay, game cannot be continued. It's really not good. I guess that didn't give me a win, right? That would be really unfair. Although, I mean, I've had that happen to myself and I lost my MMR. At the high level, which is always a bummer. Well, let's play another game. Let's play another game. Let's play another game. The Abaya. I do love monsters. Oh wow, uh, Unseen Elder. I really want this monster border, but I don't know if I'm motivated to play 30 games. But then I should play 30 games anyway to rank up. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so we have Emilers in hand. Let's see, if I do this first, it's gonna come. It's very likely to come back. So I think I'm gonna start with. No. Right. Yeah. Shouldn't it have been black? How? So it doesn't blacklist? That would make me think it doesn't blacklist copies anymore, because of... Yeah, wow, did they remove the blacklisting of copies? Strange, because I, I thought they did blacklist. Blacklist meaning that uh, every time you play... What's that? We're not going to pass. Uh, so every time you mulligan away a card... The all the duplicates of it are quote unquote blacklisted, so they cannot be in that mulligan phase at least, they cannot come back. But obviously, as we saw, they did, so I'm not sure what they're doing with the mulligan now. It, it's I'm actually kind of confused. Uh, we'll see what happens. We have Mork Food, so if he has a Mork Food, that we can unlock. Although, I haven't seen many people running anything that locks words right there and constructed this. Oh. Draw a card. Play a card. Okay. The poet. Dandelion the poet. Hmm. Higher vampire. I'm still wrecking the Regis. Oh, Toad. Nice. That's a good play. It's a good play. I mean, I could more food. I could, well, let's see. It's gonna get me to 12? No, 11. Yeah, it's right at the border. Unfortunately. Huh. 
I'm not sure. I feel like that might have been a lot. I feel like that might have been a lot. But that was... 11 is like 57% of my team, so... It could have worked. Actually. Oh. Interesting. Yep, there we go. So yeah, the the beauty of Mandrake is that it heals the unit first and it boosts, so even if it's damaged, return it, it gives you the same boost as if or strengthens uh, by the same amount as if it was skewed, if it was full strength to begin with. She going to pass? Maybe it's her. Yes, pass. Uh, can I pass? Thank you. And my space bar not working? Oh, it's gone. Bell cross. Maybe omen. The person uses omen as a portrait. Oh, well, it's kind of hard to talk about sex or gender <laughs> when you're playing someone that's completely on the other side of the country, probably. Or even the continent. Huh. Do I want two of these? Let's find a mod like this. I really need a. Uh, I really need renew. I've been really lucky with having renew or gals. People renew out of gals. Then I guess I need to pass right. Thank you. Yeah. I'm actually not really sure what to expect from this deck. I not really familiar with it. Oh yeah, there's a there goes the Barbagazi. It says Barbagazis. Hmm. Interesting. Can I have a renew, please? Um, well, I can pull the royal gals. Um, yeah, okay, that's fine. This is when this combo actually stacks well. Yeah, I'm um, all good, thank you. Do I have a navigator? Yes, I do. Mm, he goes first. Oh. oh, he is similar with himself. Interesting. That's interesting. See, that was not expecting. Necessarily. It's a five, so I'm gonna go. Roach. I'm just gonna kill my kill my little wild hunt hunt. You wouldn't want to hurt us, would you? Siren. Hmm. Cool. Well, I guess we're playing. We're playing with the big guns. Naivety is a fool's blessing. But he might actually. Um, I played this in the wrong order. I should have been the attacker. Right? I should have been the attacker. Yes, I should have. You can slap them down with your car. There he is. This is a twelve. No wait, five. That's that's less than fifty percent. He's gonna have to boost this, or it's gonna destroy it. Use this Frightener to pull this out of. Yeah, I totally must play. I should have played. Why didn't I renew first? Naivety is a fool's blessing. Okay. Right, because he's stacking. Uh. 
Oh yeah, I have to play the... I feel like I have to play the operator. You blind, greedy fool. That's fine. Do you have a way to put out a hand though? Well, yeah, I don't know. There it is. Let's tie my tower. Wow. Still living. Fine. Let me return. This is interesting. Man. Yeah. Could punch you under your car. Is that better than spy? It's just this by seven, right? So it's not like my biggest concern. As dead as a Krisa. Two cards ahead, there's no way he's winning. So, have another girl car. Plus, I could pull the ghoul, which is another spike. Oh, oh okay, fair enough. Oh, now I can't. Uh, I should have been. Oh, wait, wait. Resistance is futile. Nice. Got that boost. Need to get gals too. Or the siren. But man, it's gonna boost though. No, wait. No, this is randomly correct. Really, really, it was a random beast or vampire. Alright, so this is both. Oh no, I, I can do it. No Zigni. Be surprised, but this deck is quite strange. Uh, is he gonna outpace me? It's gonna be another yeah. Strange. I know you're in trouble. I can help. Wait, why did he? Why did he train from this? Is this correct? Hmm. I'm gonna do a rockus to these. It's gonna be the most value, right? Twelve. Then I got a ghoul. Oh wow. That's weird. 
And we win. But this is a close game, because he got he had a really nice engine setup. GG. One more and we have another level. We will lose this time, we'll see. This is quite a powerful tank in this meta. Well, I just, I guess, know how to pilot it well. I don't know. Maybe I've learned to pilot it. I feel like with a greedy consume, I'm terrible. The consume before. The consume that existed before, I mean, I guess it still exists, but the consume that was popular before the Midwinter update, which didn't go super greedy, was just making. And made lots and lots of Necros with Necro Warrior. Uh, I felt like that was. Oh wow. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna. Well, if we have L'Oreal Decree, I'm gonna do that. Uh, good, good. I think that's my last one of doing. That's not the. I don't know if I want this kind of. This for, well, it's always great to have Renew. Um, yeah, let's see what he does. Yeah. What was I saying? Oh, yes. Um, yeah, so I was, I was good at that deck. Uh, the one that used we'll Harpy Eggs. Fire and iron. That, that I liked. <laughs> um... That was better because I feel like I, I'm too. It's too vulnerable to to control that then takes away your neckers and doesn't let you uh, doesn't let you actually boost efficiently um, to protect something like against something like the Viper Witcher, which can eliminate an 11 point unit uh, without those eggs or without really targets for. Hmm. And of course we go to Gimbal Earth. Well, we actually get else into Gimbal Earth. Alright, I'll go with Gimbal Earth first. Yeah, I'm good for... I wish instead of this I had the Mandrake. And I guess they're boosting with the Drakars. Yeah, maybe that was a misplay. Maybe Gels. Ooh. And I don't have more food. So is he running chains specifically for this? Yeah. I guess I should pass now. Yeah. That's not great. Well, at least he's gonna lose a card. It's gonna be two cards down. Don't you pester me. This is a strange deck. Maybe it's not strange, but it is packages of bronzes that I'm not necessarily expecting. Which because when you play Constructed Ladder, is what you kind of want. Oh, okay. Cool. Well, I'm gonna let this go. Huh, Gauss, nice. Does he have... Uh, so, like, size of Materium Shackles? Hmm. I guess I could... Uh, or Bugazi, alright? That's why Monster's Nest is really still really useful. It kind of sucks that they nerfed it. That it doesn't give plus three anymore. It doesn't boost by three, which is nice. Yeah, of course. Because mulligans in this game are amazing. So I have a spy, and I'm ahead, and... Huh. Should I... Should I... Do I need a Baya? More than I need more food is the biggest question. 
I might actually... <laughs> this game might actually depend on that. Well, well, let's see. First we'll pull this guy. He's still chained. <laughs> Doubt it. I don't even have second chains. This is what I really want to know. And whether I can hire off for what I need with gals. Because I'm thinking I need an Abaya rather than. Oh. Interesting. Does he have Ceres too? See, this makes me really want a Caretaker or Osrael, but. I guess your deck can't be built for every situation. Why did this put it now? Actually, this is a complete misplay. Uh, okay, and now it's a bug because I can't go back to it. Oh joy! No. Nice. Won't pay us in gold. In line. Well, cool beans, I guess. What do you want to do, Mandrake? I will flop off three heads with one blow. There's the thing. Welcome, chosen one. There goes the she up. I have this to say about that. Actually, lose this. Did a good job dealing with my MR, and I like. Well, I really wanted to roll more um, Mandrake, right? And that I didn't roll into Mandrake, so I. So this is what happens. Oh, spellstone. This animation is just kind of freaky. I mean, the, the art in this game is amazing. I mean, say what you will, but they really did an amazing job on these cards. Uh, well. Well, this frost is up. I mean, uh, oh, he's. So he does have some sort of weather. See, now I wish I had a mark food. Oh, it's the savage bear, my old friend. I don't really wish I had more food. Mm -hmm. I could also pull. Yeah, I didn't even use. I could pull another. Uh... Demon! Interesting. Smuggler. Alright, so let's see.
Hmm. Hey, man, that catch up here, actually. Oh really? Did I just misplay that? Oh yeah, you can actually go back, so it's not a misplay. Doesn't have another great swordsman or another ship to deal with to boost this one? Well, forget up. Well, right. Oh, wow. Well. That's cool. to activate this and for that to spawn a bear. Interesting. Alright. <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah, I don't think I'm catching up. Dang. Well, because they lost to Mandrake. Should I just forfeit? Modern Freyr is patient, mm -hmm. but she brooks no insult. Galaga! Whoa, 15. I will. Because five Drakars. <laughs> GG. Yeah. Well, that's rank. Thank you for watching. If you're still with us. If you're not, I appreciate it for the time. Have a wonderful night.